Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be wiring up the Blue Sea Systems fuse block. Let's get to it. Okay guys, this main power wire right here, this is the main positive and negative from the switch gang. I'm going to go ahead and route that. I need it in this area and to start figuring out what's up. So for now, I'm going to run those over here and so we can start playing around with this thing and make sure I got my circuit right. Alright guys, I got my, the main positive and negative from the switch gang routed through here. There's a little hole that's already here that exists. It's really hard to get it up there from under the truck. So I went basically over top of the transmission. There is definitely a nice little spot where the wires can go. There's other wires there as well. So down and then tuck them up through this hole somehow. I made them through this hole. Cause you can't see that hole from underneath. You just kind of got to guess until you get it. So there's that. Let me go ahead and cut this wire to length. And we will start. So I've got those tucked right in there. I'm gonna zip tie them together and make them clean them up. So that, that has power right now. And see if you didn't have a main on off, that wouldn't, that'd stay on all the time. Let's flip that switch. Nothing, let's flip it again. Okay, there's my little switch. Now, okay, so now it's on. My question is, this has actually been really messing with my brain and it's probably a whole lot simpler and I'm overthinking it. Getting 24 volts, I don't, I don't want 24 volts. So, I'm gonna hook up a temporary wire from where I put 110 fuse right there. And let's see, I wanna see what the amperage is. I think it's still 12. Or the question is, if it's still 12 volts coming out, which it, it should be, but I don't want when you flip the actual switch, since that already has 12 volts, I don't want when you flip the switch, does it change to 24 volts? That is what I'm trying to find out right now. Okay, so I got my voltmeter here. Put one in in the negative of that battery. So I'm touching, I'm, I just ran a temporary wire to that 10 fuse that I had said. So, so it's got 12.48 volts coming out of this. So now this is running to a one switch. My question is, what will matter? Oh uh, shoot, he left. I'm gonna need his help. I want to see if this changes the voltage. See, now that it's on. All right, that does not work. Obviously it's got constant power. So I just hooked up, this wire right here would be coming from that switch. This would be coming from the fuse block, which <laughs> turns this on, like it's on all the time constant power and then if I hook up a halo light to it it would never the switch does nothing so this is what I need to solve okay okay guys so I figured it out I actually got the the fuse box to work with the actual switch of whatever I need it to function let me show you how it's done so I got positive negative right here this little negative actually is coming from the switch gang. This right here is just a fused 10. I just, I went ahead and just temporarily, just, I just ran this out here 
It's got 12 volts right here. And I ran it over here to the halo light. So my main switch is on over there, so this is on. And uh, there's really no way to prop this up here. Let's see. So I'm gonna take, this as my 12 volt coming from the 10 amp fuse. So if I have to, I need to unhook the bat, the power in to each of these switches and each one of my wires coming off this fuse block will go to each one of these switches main power supply in. So if I put, if I touch this wire, nothing's happening, everything's just as it should be. And I flip that on, it's on and it's actually turn on the halos. I can't really show you it right now because I'm just kind of, <laughs> and I'm barely touching it. There we go. So the halos are working. I can see them out of the corner of my eye, lighting up the, the front of the garage. So what I'm doing here is going to remove all the power in, which is in the middle. Here's a perfect example right here. This came with the actual switch. So two, 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 and two of all these switches. It's in the center of each one of these switches. That is your power supply to battery, okay? So I'm just gonna remove those and run each wire down here to this so it all has its own fuse. That's the whole purpose behind this whole thing. So I'm gonna go pull out all the power in from each one of the switches. So these are gonna be my power coming from the C block, go into my switches and I've got them all labeled. <laughs> it's a mess, but I've got like, you know, three with a plus sign, eight plus sign. So that's it, just so I know which one goes where and I can label them whatever I choose to put my, whatever is gonna go there, I can label it on the block itself. So this is my power to it. And this is going to be my power from the switch going to whatever, whatever it may be. Now let's run them. Okay, I got them on the block. Now time to clean all this wiring up where they're just kind of all sitting here when it's at time. And then uh, we're gonna start running that over. Let's get to it. All right, guys, <laughs> here's the wires coming from the fuse block over there. And now we're going to go ahead and feed them to their appropriate wire one through eight and soak them up.
I've got one through eight. So that's power in to each switch. Now, this switch and this switch, one and two, they're gonna be my halo. Amber and clear. Let's wire those up. All right, let's take that off. So I've got switch one and two. One and two hooked up. All right, they now have a fuse. There should be 12 volts to it. Let's go see. Terry, help me out. Tell me which color is what on the halo. Alright. Main power is on. I can't remember which one's what. Can you tell me which one's what? Oh. Let's turn the switch. That's clear. Oh, it's working like a champ. Alright, let me plug those in. I'm gonna make amber number one. Okay, here we go. Main power on 12.5 volts. First switch. Uh amber. I still water all of them. Boom. Let's go back over here. Number two. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so two switches. Light. And you really can't tell. So it was the regular headlight. It looks really cool in person. Dang. Let's turn it up. That's max driving power right there because you got the halo with the headlight. Oh, you can't see. You get the gist. There you have it, guys. So successfully got power from the block over to the gang, to the switches, and they all operate or be independent of each other, and they have their own fuse. So let me show you. Here it is, all done up. It's going to go just like that over in the sheath, just down that hole. So what I end up doing, there's a, from the four, like the cigarette lighter and the USB and all that, there's four on the top of the gang. I routed those over. The negative from those is here. Also the dash lights. And the positive from that actually goes to the terminal on the battery, positive. And then positive comes from the terminal down and around to the bottom of this, the fuse block. So now this whole system has 12 volts going out. And then I put in the switch all over. So I got, it's grounded all the, I tied all the grounds together of all those to this ground right here. So I really didn't even need the bus, the negative bus. I, I mean, I will eventually when I run the like light bars and stuff like that, they're gonna need a negative terminal to hit. So that's kind of like the, the way it's set up. And these, all the red wires coming out of the block, they go over to the power input, the middle section of the fuse. 
of the fuse of the switch. So there you have it. All right, guys, next day here, what we're going to do uh, is install these reverse lights. And I think they're going to look really good. They're brighter than the sun. But in a nutshell, they're going to go right here. And same thing on the other side. Let's get to it. So I only have one of these right now. The other one is not here yet. Imagine that. But I really like these. I didn't want the uh, double rows, so wanted a single row. I didn't know this was gonna be so big. So it's as big as a double row, but it's a single row. It's very, very bright. It's gonna look really good right there. All right, we got this side done. Let's jump to the other side, finish that one up. Dude, these are gonna look so good. They <laughs> look really good. So what I'll do, I'll start wiring them from this side. I'll go ahead and install this one over here. Jump wires to the other side. And when that one comes in, I'll leave the wires hanging out the hole and we'll just leave them extra long. And we'll run them from there. And, that, and we'll start taking the wires to the switch gang. Let's get to it. It looks pretty solid. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go ahead and wire this thing to the other side. I'm at a heat shrink right now. These two wires will be okay. bought these cheese they were the only ones that Walmart had left thanks coronavirus there's no split in it it's just a solid hole not to feed everything through unreal
there's the wires right here. These are gonna go to this light right here, the other reverse light. So I use a lot of zip ties, guys. But I put it right here against the existing wiring harness. Very simple. It will never be seen. All right, guys, I'm gonna hook up a 12 volt battery and give you a little preview of what that's gonna look like. I know I don't have the other side, but at least you'll get to see what this one's like. There you go. I like it. Right, the light's gonna be, guys. She's gonna get in front of it so you get a better view. view. Boom. Thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you like the content on the channel. Until next time.